way to the future. You can now go grocery shopping from home thanks to these online supermarkets. And Susan Samter, the Cheap Ponds Queen, says everything you need to know is just a click away, or everything you need is just a click away. And she joins us now because you have actually checked out four websites that are available in the tri-state area, and you have the best and the worst. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Susan. Just, just one second. Oh, my gosh. I was finally taller than somebody. There you go. Well, thank you. There you go. Now, now I'm the same height. And okay. now I'm far enough away to oh. read just without my glasses. It looks like I'm being taller than someone, though. Okay, Susan, now that we can see eye to eye. Right. You actually now have the best and worst for us because, you know, everyone is tempted to go. Right grocery shopping online. I, in fact, I think Dave Price has gone grocery yep. shopping online, right? Yep. Okay. Had a great experience. Well, I, what I have to start off by saying is while I did the online shopping, I still am a hands-on person. I love going into a supermarket and I love to take advantage of the bargains there. But before I go into my bargains at the supermarket, there were four sites that I went to. And the first site we went to was teapod.com. And that was what I found was very user-friendly. I'm not great at the computer, and so one of the things that was important to me were finding sites that were easy to navigate. Peapod.com was very easy to navigate. Can they you buy just about anything? Yes, on Peapod.com you could buy just about anything. It was in the New York uh, and Connecticut area. Uh, if you link into a certain supermarket and you purchase your items. One of the problems was that uh, their shipping was $9.95, was kind Ooh, of expensive. expensive. <laughs> My total came out to over $32. For they, six groceries? For the six groceries, the, with the shipping, which was $9.95. They did take coupons off on your next purchase, which mm. I thought was pretty good also. That's a way to get people to, to go online. Right, but it was a fairly expensive site for just these six items that I'm showing you here. Okay, the next site, FreshDirect.com, and this is a site that's advertising all over the city. Right. They're trying to tempt new customers by offering $50 off their first order, right? Right, which I think is fantastic because the first $50 is completely free if your address and your credit card have the same address, your home address and credit card. You get, And you also get free shipping, by the way, which normally would be free. All the time? Or, no, the first three orders, okay. which is $3.95, and they don't uh, suggest any tipping, no tipping. Interesting. Right. Did you tip Dave when you ordered from First Direct? Well, I would have, but they told me not to. <laughs> not so no tipping, which I don't want to They have delivery uh, Monday through Sunday, none on Wednesday, and it's just a two-hour window of opportunity. So that was pretty good on the um, FreshDirect.com. Then That's I went right. on to uh, EasyShop.com, mm -hmm. which was also a very easy um, site to navigate. Uh, they had all of the groceries. I was able to buy all of the six items, and the prices were pretty good. Their shipping charges also um, were uh, uh, um, $7.50, but your minimum order had to be $75. Oh, so this is for bigger families. Bigger families. If you had $100 or more, your shipping was free, so that wasn't bad. And the, of course, the ease of, naviga uh, of the navigation and limited delivery area, Manhattan and parts of New Jersey. And finally, we have netgrocery.com. Right, now netgrocery is shipped by FedEx, and you can only buy FedEx. Not FedEx. That must be expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> not actually terrible if you're within the zone. It came out for these items, $3.95, but yeah. I could only get three items because it was only the non-perishable, which would have been the cereal, the detergent, and then the um, so coffee. This is a very limited price. Right. Now, what I have to show you because is you that- you still love to shop. I still love to shop. <laughs> I still take my coupon and file. And I still have this, which is my actual coupons. I want to make sure you can see this. I took the same six items. I had a free coupon for the... Now, remember, the top was $35 and the bottom was $22 right. uh, of the cost. Free detergent, free cereal, free Tropicana, $2 uh, off my meat, free milk. The coffee was on sale for $0.69, cents, of course, in the supermarket from my flyer, which I always use as my guide. My final cost with the hands-on approach, $1.28. That's if you go in the store, folks. The dollar right. twenty-eight. And then if you go in the store, you find some other great okay. things. Actually, well. we're running out of time. time. I'm so sorry, Susan. But you are so great. We Thank love you. Um, the fact that you did this comparison shopping. But as you said, it's probably better to go inside the store because you will save a lot of money. If you want more information, you can log on to www.refundlebundle.com. Right for more information on how to save and how to get information on okay. the Bundle Bundle My Magazine. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Keep on queen. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming <laughs> in the studio. Jim, back to you. And right. I gained a few inches in height. Right. <laughs> yes. Susan's bigger than she's ever been. All right, let me come.